So what you see in the distance there is King's Weston's house. It's uh, an estate, lots of green. It's near Blaise Castle in Bristol. And this greenness that goes along the top there goes all the way uh, along near where I live. But this site is tucked in a little, uh, I guess you could call it valley, uh, above the green, past that greenhouse, there's a Avermouth Rugby Club. And then there's a green kind of walkway past this hedge. Beyond that, there's a school. But just over past the gate is the M5. I think it's the bit where you come off the M5 for Avermouth, that way, that access road. And then there's a great big oak tree here. And the kind of green over there, there's actually a field with some bees. So it's a pretty small site. There's only 13 plots. And finally, most of them are let now. So let's see if we actually get any community spirit on this plot, because it's been quite quiet over the years. So it's Friday the 7th of August, and I think some of my sweet corn should be ready. The tassels have gone dark, so I'm going to try some of it. You know, picking some of it today. Given the size of some of it, and the tassels are dark, some of the tassels on the smaller ones are still light, but most of them are dark. So I'm going to try and pick some.
Look at it, it's lovely. I put my nail in and the kind of juice that came out was milky, which means it's ready. So I'm going to be picking most of the sweet corn today and hopefully taking it home, eating some fresh but also freezing the rest. And hopefully this time it will taste lovely instead of being overdone. Yum yum, finally I get to try it. Looking at this okikori, I think it's got, I think, mildew. I've been cutting the affected leaves off, and I will do today, but I um, wonder if that's gonna lower the amount of produce I get from it. So I've cut most of the affected leaves off, and all the yellowed, you know, milky, spotty leaves. And that's what I cut off. I will move that uh, to my uh, compost pile now. So it didn't lose all its leaves, but there should be a bit better airflow now. The butternut squash um, butterfly F1 is still going crazy. Thankfully, this butternut hunter has just started to kind of get going. But some of it is still not big enough to tie up the climbing. Look at this big carrot. The biggest one I've grown so far. Look at the size of this French climbing bean. I think it needs to be picked. There's a few more on there as well. I think by how yellow these have gone, it's about time I started digging some of them up. The main crop potatoes. These nasturtiums have gone nuts now. So they're really flowering well. If you look, there's kind of a deep yellow, pale yellow, and a red. And a sort of orange colour over to the left. So I'm quite happy with the range of colours. Too many of the tomatoes are just kind of all over the place. They're not tied in properly. time to prune it hard because I can hardly get through the gate. Let's see how long it takes. So there's lots of green tomatoes that now the daylight can get to to ripen. So it's really hot today. Grey thundery skies and I've finally finished pruning the tomatoes. They look a bit of a mess but at least they're done now. I'm just needing a big long drink so at least the sun can get to ripen the tomatoes even if they do look a mess. I finally have a cucumber. It's very small but it's a cucumber. I've even still got some strawberries ripe and there's apples on the tree. Okay, it's really hot so I'm going home now and I've harvested all of this. Sweet corn, courgette, broccoli and French beans. 
but I'm dripping with sweat and I need to go home and have a nice cold drink. Thanks for watching. Bye.